Oh, this is a short tech tip for removing the boiler element, heating element on a Riviera espresso machine. There you see that this is the, the bulk of a La Cara style Riviera. What I've done here, I've removed all the wires and the two switches. This little trick saves a lot of trouble. This is one tool that sometimes works just fine. It's uh, got three grabbing arms. You can put on the element and turn it off. This one was really stuck. As you can see that I've got it clamped down to the table. Once again, all the wires are removed. And the two switches, this is the important part. The very handy tool right here that this is a this is a crowfoot metric wrench. This is what you can you use to get these fittings off in there. It's quite a handy one. This is a hazard tool made in Germany. Uh, the way that this was done, and I'm very excited, I was about to give up, is <coughs> that we used this product, which is called Freeze Off. It's, a, it's a, available in some auto parts stores, um, although, you know, real hardcore uh, mechanics, they don't like it. They just as soon use their acetylene torch. You use the torch on this, you melt the solder, you melt the brass, <laughs> you lose your element and everything else. I've got a leak down here, that's why I want to take the, the heating element out. Uh, uh, as I said, I was quite excited. I took this can, it costs about five dollars for the can, put something down here to catch it, and I squirted almost the whole can just right down here in the threads. And what this does is that it cools the metal and kind of shrinks it, supposedly, and helps the penetrating oil get inside. So, I, truly, I sprayed it for about 45 seconds. I had tried shorter amounts and had no luck, and I was about to give up. Another thing I want to do is powder coat this base while I'm at it, and it's going to be a nice machine when I'm done. So, once I did that, as I said, 45 seconds maybe, maybe a minute worth, there's quite a bit in the can, I took my screwdriver and I placed it down through one of these switch holes and took my big hammer and began to pound sideways. I, I w wasn't having any problem with distortion down in there. So, as you'll be able to see that, that as we slowly turn through one switch hole, we change over to the other switch hole, and continue to turn that. Let me tell you, this is a sweet little discovery that you can take off that element. You don't have to worry about breaking off the contact posts. Uh, this, uh, the, the freeze off, it worked for me, it might work for you. Uh, I think it really, really saved uh, a lot of trouble, a lot of work, and a lot of worry. But take out, the, take out the switches, get a big screwdriver and hammer, proceed carefully, and you can turn it right off.